Hi, in this video we are going to implement the insertion. So we have a insert method, it's going to get a data we would like to insert, and we just have to insert it. But basically on every insertion we have to check whether we have violated that given AVI properties or not, so it's going to return with the root node. So the self.root is equal to the self.insert node with the data and the self dot root node. Okay, so we just have to implement this insert node method with the self, a data, and a node. We just have to check that if not node, what does it mean? It means that this node is a none. For example, this is the first item we insert, so it's going to be the root node. So we just have to return with the new node initialized with the given data. And else we just have to check that if the data is smaller than the node.data, we just have to consider the left subtree. So the node.left child is equal to the self. And we call this method recursively, this insert node with the data and the node.left child. And why do we have to do it in such a complicated way? Because basically we have to tell the parent that the left child or the right child has been updated. Okay, else we know that we have to consider the right subtree, so right child is equal to the self dot insert node with the data and uh, node right child, okay? And it's very important that we have to update the haste parameter. So node dot haste parameter is equal to the maximum of the self dot calculate height on the node left child and uh, self dot calculate height on the node right child or the right subtree. We just have to increment it by one. So this is how we calculate the height parameter of a given node. We have to consider the left subtree or the left child, we have to consider the right subtree or the right child, and we have to calculate what's the maximum out of them, and we increment it by 1. It's very important that we return with the node, but first we have to check whether we have violated the AVL properties or not. So I'm going to call a method self.settleViolations, or violation, whatever, with the data and the node. Okay, in the next video we are going to implement the settle violation method. Thanks for watching.